alpha mother, so yes, there's enough room for at least two mothers in this world. <gasps> what the hell just happened? From dust and death we come. Yes, this is Rob with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Reassembly Season 6, Episode 2, and the Necrotic Space Arachnids. Now, of course, it doesn't really look like an arachnid yet, but it just lost its tail. And don't you know that arachnids, what, spiders, when they're born, they have a tail, and then... No, that's not true. But, <laughs> this is Necrotic Space Arachnids, which have a slightly different life cycle. <laughs> but yes, first of all, uh, oh, there's an agent nearby. So let's escape the agent, because, oh, uh, well, we might be able to take him. He's kind of got, kind of got cornered there. Oh, excellent. That'd be a nice boon. So let's see if we can take him out. Uh, oh, what? I, I, my keyboard stopped working. That's not good. Ah, there we go. Ah, very nice. We killed our first agent. Oh, fantastic. Oh, ah. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, let's get out of here. Yeah, my keyboard stopped working. Excellent. We have killed our first agent. Ah, brilliant. Anyway, so... First of all, let me say uh, what a great community we have. It is absolutely fantastic. You know, I asked for an idea and you guys, uh, there, was, there was well over 200 messages and I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are incredible. Now, why did I choose arachnids? Well, I tell you, it was kind of a toss up between arachnids and dragons. I thought, oh, we can actually claim this, fantastic. Ah, empty space. Sometimes, <laughs> completely crashed on me there. Whoops, <laughs> like total wipeout. Well, okay, so we are back, and where was I? Right, why did we choose arachnids over dragons? Well, to be honest with you, I think we could make some absolutely incredibly cool dragon designs. I just, I really like the idea, and we're going to put that in our back pocket for possibly another species and another season. However, with arachnids, I chose arachnids because, uh, well, based on your guys' comments, uh, and there was a lot of people that said arachnids, but the main reason was, well, this. Yes, many spider species, of course, their, their young actually ride on top of their mothers. And then when they're big enough and strong enough, they, of course, leave the mother and they go and they find their own territories. And yeah, very, very cool. I, I, I think that in itself speaks volumes uh, because, of course, the bees have the fighters. Faction, uh, Faction 6 has the fighters, which are very, very tough. And, of course, we can claim that they are... Oh, ah! Why, why am I not firing? Oh, I'm in command mode. That's why. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, not not very good there. All right, there we go. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Firing away. Nom, 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 nom. Mmm. Yummy. Ooh. So, hey. <laughs> Come back with that part. <laughs> I wasn't done eating. Ah, yes. Ah. Run if you can. There you go. Sorry, I got very angry there for some reason. I don't know why. I just like come back here. It was running. It's it's very it's a predatory thing. He starts running and I have to chase him and eat him. Yes. Yeah, so arachnids, of course. Uh, yeah. I just love the idea. I love the idea of the bees being tiny little spiders on the back of the mothers that will go out and hunt and and then come back and then of course. Well, you know, this is this is not exactly what spiders would do, but I mean, it's you know, I think it's it's a pretty good thing. And then of course, comparing that to our insectoids. Before, you know, it's this is not an insectoid race. This is the, an arachnoid race, which is a very different type of arthropod. These, these of course, will all have eight legs eventually. Right now, we don't. Um, well, technically, we have well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll have to, we'll have to chop off a couple legs to make, that, uh, to make that work. Because spiders have eight legs. And, of course, they are highly predatory, highly territorial, too, as well. So, yeah, we're going to be very aggressive. And I wanted to build a story around... What would be the nemesis of the insectoids? Because in my world, in my reassembly world, the insectoids are taking over the universe, and they're they're heartless, and they they just eat everything in sight. And you know, the, ooh, reds, yum, mm, run, run! <laughs> oh, ah, excellent! <laughs> come here, come here! Nom 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 nom! Oh, he's he's wily. He's very wily. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll let you go. Only because I want to let you go. Oh, also, something else that we're going to do today. We're going to start uh, working on possibly m designing our own buildings. Because that's a thing. Apparently, according to you guys, you guys were saying in the comments that we can build our own buildings using those root parts. Oh, he looks tasty. Hold on. We must eat him. 
Stab him. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love the fangs. We'd suck all the juiciness out of them. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so we're going to be building our own buildings too as well. Of course, all with that theme. And of course, we're going to need names for everything too, so... Okay, I found the heart of all of the arachnoid buildings. Amazing! So this is the default stuff that of course comes with the Faction 6. And some of them look very arachnoid. Like, I would think this looks pretty arachnoid, and this looks, this looks very arachnoid. Of course, we can modify them. So yeah, if we go do Command Mode, and we hit 3 on the keyboard. Yeah, so we can copy that right in and of course we can we can modify it which is great not all buildings can be modified but some of them can like this one so it looks pretty arachnoid already but we would we would want to step it up and really make these look you know i'm thinking more web-like because once they once we start producing them or building them ourselves and having our guys produce them put them on asteroids and stuff then of course we'd want them to look like webs like i'd want this whole area to look all webbed in that would look so cool now some buildings i don't think we can copy and use for example these ones here if I go three, yeah, they are locked. I'm going to put one in here. Not that it matters because it doesn't really fit the look of the space arachnoids. <laughs> or even, even this little pitchfork it looks, I don't know, it looks more space arachnoid than the other one. Uh, but I, I we'll just put a couple of these. We'll just save a couple of these. I, I don't know. Why not? <laughs> we can't build them yet, but we'll just put a couple in our queue there and go back. Uh, we've got to make sure, you got to be really careful when you're doing this. I've learned this the hard way, by the way, just a few minutes ago, and I had to reload the game because I'm like, oh, um, yeah, you can copy over whatever's in your current design, which means you can copy over the current design you're actually flying, which I, I don't know if there's a way to get it back. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a thing. So you just got to be careful. Make sure you always have a copy, of course, sitting in down in your design storage. Anyway, so there we go. Awesome. Very, very cool. Okay, so... We don't have a factory yet, so it's really quite irrelevant. <laughs> I just wanted to go and try it. And of course, we can build brand new buildings and of course, staple them onto asteroids, apparently. I haven't tried it before. That's going to be really fun. Really, really fun. Let's go do some hunting. Hunting, because we want to do our first, uh, our build today, but we want to get just a few more points to work with. I guess it doesn't matter. We could build some, we, what I want to do. So hold on, actually. <laughs> oh, uh, let's get this station first. Yes, you are mine. Excellent. That looks like it's going to be quite a big station. Looks like it's going to be very, very large. Okay, so if we go to here, now these designs here, these of course are what I used to do our cool little intro at the beginning to introduce this species. Now, I want to modify each one of these into uh, more spider-like species, and or more spider-like, and I want it to be gradual. So this would be the smallest, uh, and then of course a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and as we build these, we're going to need names for all of them. So let's actually do our first, uh, our smallest design today. This is of course based Based on this yes so yeah it's 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 a uh, it's a jumping spider and are they, they look cool and actually what's interesting so while you know while I was doing this the jumping spiders actually have their brains their legs actually contain part of their brains I thought that was really cool just an interesting thing okay I'll be right back I'm gonna build a uh, spider a jumping spider okay be right back Right there she is. She is beautiful. I really, really, really like her. I think she turned out very well. So this is my rendition of a jumping spider. Now, of course, this is going to be a necrotic 
base arachnid as well, so we may have to add some flair that kind of accents that characteristic of being, you know, a little bit darker, a little bit evil, born of decay and all those things. But in the meantime, I just wanted to build, I wanted to see if we could build an actual jumping spider, and I think it turned out very, very well. Now, a couple things to note here, um, actually specifically with Faction 6 that I didn't notice until today, there are two different types of thrusters. There's an impulse thruster and a maneuver thruster. And by the description here, the maneuver thruster is highly responsive low impulse thruster and it only has a thrust of 8k whereas its equivalent in the impulse thruster has a thrust of 60k so that's substantially different but the cost of them is is like minimal there's a minimal difference between the cost um however i believe so the high the the, the one that only produces 8k the highly responsive low impulse thrust thruster probably you accelerate much faster so i would think you move way faster but with a lower max speed is what I'm thinking, whereas the impulse thruster allows for a much higher max, three, max speed with the high amount of thrust, but it takes a lot longer for that thrust to get going. So I chose, because this is a jumping spider, that we would use more maneuver thrusters because a jumping spider, if you've ever seen them in real life, and I'm sure most of you have, the jumping th spiders, they kind of, they kind of, they, they, almost like they they oh, how do i how would I describe it like every movement is almost like a little jump they tick along and i don't know and they're very very quick right you can't even see them when they actually move and they jump on their on their enemies so that's what i was kind of hoping for this and i may have to change this a little bit so i wanted it to have a nice high maximum speed with these high impulse thrusters but of course most of its movement is with the maneuver thrusters which should make it a little bit almost shaky <laughs> ah there we go so let's try her out shall we and I think we're going to do a smaller ship as well, a smaller spider-like ship as well, just a, a tiny little one that's just all fangs, because this is very similar to our the ship we were just in, similar to the Scripples. But yeah, let's just try it out. Let's see what happens here. All right. Ah, there she is. She forms. Our first spider has hatched from its egg. Ha 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 ha. Ooh. Yeah, see it? It's... Ah, okay. So, yes, maneuver thrusters give it that li a little bit of a yeah a li little jumpy like it makes it a little jumpy like the oh yeah especially the the big ones in behind really makes it so it moves it accelerates quickly in one direction but then doesn't have a huge top speed so it gives it that big burst burst at the beginning and then it stops right ah it's very bursty yeah look at that very bursty i like it that's cool neat yeah, so get that big burst and then it stops. It, oh, yikes. <laughs> um, ramming speed. So this is this particular vehicle, this first jumping spider is going to be sort of the, uh, the swarming spider fleet, uh, spider ship in the fleet, where we, we, we're going to have tons of these built. Wow, look at the speed on this sucker. All right, so it doesn't have a lot of firepower. I'm thinking we almost need to add more of the defense guns because it, it would make a very good PD ship. Whoa, doesn't turn very well either. I think we need to add some more uh, maneuvering thrusters, uh, maybe a little bit larger maneuvering thrusters. Let's back to the drawing board here for one second. Yeah, so I think we need to add the large maneuvering thrusters to the side somewhere here. Uh, I'll be right back. There we go. So I just added a few more of the uh, medium-sized maneuvering thrusters to the to the vehicle, as well as added a few more of the uh, basic small maneuvering thrusters to the outside, to the shell uh, or the legs. I don't like to add thrusters to the outsides of my vehicles that often because, of course, I ram into things and then the legs get taken off or they get shot off, and then 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 I don't get to use them, right? So I, I think I think I'm pretty happy with it. I didn't I didn't even want it to be as big as it is. I wanted it to be way smaller, and I think I just I I think to make it look right, I had to make it a little bit bigger so there it is uh, very good we need a name for this ship of course it can't be jumping spider i want you guys to think of something uh really cool to name our first real arachnid uh spaceships so yeah uh please let me know in the comments below what you think we should name our first little tiny oh it's turning uh it's turning better yeah, see, it's almost shaky. I really like that burst. Those maneuvering thrusters are actually pretty cool, but they don't, you don't, you don't maintain a good speed on them for long periods of time. They're good for short bursts. Yeah, oh, and I like, wow, it's pretty, very pretty. Mm, yum. Want to eat? Ah, ah, the problem is I'll ram into things if I don't, uh, if I'm not careful. Yeah, very nice. Actually, I really like it. It'll make a nice little swarming ship. Very nice. Okay, so next on the list of things to do today, let's go back to 
the fleet control. And I, I really want to make, uh, let's, let's actually push everything down the list here. Okay, so what I'm thinking is just a small little mite sized, like a spider mite sized vehicle or spaceship that all it does is, is, you know, stab its fangs into things and liquefy the bodies and then suck up the innards. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds pretty intense. <laughs> um, oh yeah, one big maneuvering thruster in the back. I don't know, I don't know what I should be using. We should be testing these actually. Maneuvering thrusters and impulse thrusters. Um, I, I think probably impulse thrusters in the back. This thing's gonna like, honestly, it's gonna be so fast. I'm not gonna be able to keep up with it. And to be honest with you, it's only gonna be able to strafe because, yeah, just because of physics. It's only going to be able to straight, but that's okay. Um, and uh, we still want it to go in reverse. Uh, can we fit a larger one? No. How about this one? Ah, perfect. There we go. That's that's it. Um, that's a, that is another full ship design. It is part of the... It's a spider mite. So I wanted something small. Super, super small. And, of course, I need a name for this one, too, as well. So we're going to put this one right in behind that one. And this is going to be fighter size. Like... We're, we're going to be using this design of for swarming, the spider swarm. And this one here will be like for just, you know, overwhelming the enemy. And it's in actually decent firepower. Actually, I want to try it out. Hold on. Let's let's get in this thing. It's going to be super fast. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ooh, look at him sprout off. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, forward. There we go. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's, he's all guns. He's all fangs. Look at his fangs. I, I don't know if I can actually hit anything with this sucker. <laughs> <He's way> <laughs> On the bright side, nobody else can hit me either. And when they do, they just nick me. Oh! Ah, ramming. <laughs> I can't turn. I can't do anything right now. Oh, there we go. He rebuilds pretty quickly. I love him. I love him. We need a, we need a name for him. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, he doesn't turn very well because... Because the way physics works, if you have your lateral engines right at the same, in the same uh, line as your uh, center of gravity, of course, you're not going to be able to turn. You'll be able to strafe, go left and right, and, and dodge things that way. But uh, as far as actually turning, that's going to be tricky. <laughs> this, thing, this thing is out of control. Ah, flies. I can, I can maybe kill a fly. Hold on. Ah, uh, spiders and flies. Seriously, I keep ramming into things and losing parts of my ship, so it makes it really hard to maneuver. <laughs> it's super fun to fly, but uh, how effective it is, I don't know. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. We will just sneak up on him. We're going to pretend his, we're his friend. Hello? Hello? Oh, I can't control this thing at all. Hello? How's it? Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to ram him. <laughs> he has no weapons, so it's perfect. He's a, he's a perfect, he's perfect prey. Ah! Oh, except he has shields. I can't control this thing. It is impossible to control. I push forward and I go like a million miles an hour. Yeah. Oh, look, he stole a gun. Ah, the farmers. He farmed a gun from somebody. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so. All right. So is that the first time we've died on this? I don't know. I, 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 I we may have. No, we, I think we died once before. I don't know. I can't. I can't tell. Anyway, so I love it. Now, I, I wasn't planning on actually flying this vehicle for any length of time. This is just a... One of the spider mites, uh, the spider mites are going to be something that we launch a million of, like when we're in in enemy space and we just want to take it over. We're going to conquer it. Speaking of, let's get a factory on the Scripples. Actually, let's, I'm going to make some modifications to the Scripples, including adding a factory because it's time. It's already time to start building a small fleet. And of course, well, especially with some of our new smaller vehicles, that would be really cool. I keep calling the vehicles. We need some names. We need some names for the brood. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. All right. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. So I, I was about to start rebuilding the whole thing and I'm like, wait, no, I'm not ready to rebuild it. We just wanted a factory on it. And I wanted to show that the legs are kind of growing in, you know, that kind of, you know, we are evolving. We are definitely improving. Hold on, we need to add a couple more thrusters to this too as well. And you know, even even some of these maneuver thrusters, you know, just on the side here. I think it's probably a really good idea. Yeah, I didn't want I didn't want to rebuild it right now. I just I wasn't emotionally ready to do that. Uh, we don't want to cover up the factory. Yeah, but I I wanted to you know to make 
you know, get the factory on it and show that it's growing, right? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so, ah, uh, not enough pee. Oh, man. Okay, well, it's saved. <laughs> ah, so what do we need? We need, what, 592? We can build that, can't we? Oh, man, we, we can totally, hold on, we can upgrade. We can upgrade for that. Yeah, totally, yep. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, we got tons of tons of tons of social credits. Wow, we can already have. Wow, we can already have uh, a fairly large vehicle. So that's cool. Oh, we're under attack by Reds. Ah. Okay. Uh, emergency procedure. Uh, become this little guy and escape. Uh, if we can. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Ah, there we go. Yes. Ah, no, wrong way. Let's go. No, this way. Why, why is he not turning? Right, because he can't turn. That's right. I remember. He can't turn. <laughs> he's, this poor little guy. He's got a little, he's got emotional issues. And, of course, he's got a really big engine, really small body. So, like, he can go forward, back, side to side. But he cannot, yeah, he can strafe okay. He can strafe, strafe all right. Um, as long as I'm facing the right direction and I'm doing, yeah, it's, but very difficult to drive. Very difficult. Okay, so let's let's now actually let's get back into friendly territory. Jesus, I have no idea where I am. Look at us. Look at us spin on the map, eh? <laughs> Super fun. Super fun. Okay, let's get home. Let's get to somewhere safe. Um, driving, driving, uh, being, being. Ah, there we go. Ah, safety, safety. Ah, oh, the nipples of home. <laughs> look at all of them. Look at them all. They have taken this design. Oh no, they've taken that original design which had no guns on it. And they've replicated that one. No, you've replicated the wrong design. <laughs> no, none of these none of these little ships. So these are like little spiderlings without 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 fangs. Oh, some of them have fangs. Yeah, some of them are the other design. Some of them are this one. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, we're home. Let's build a Scripples Brood. We want a new name for these ships, by the way. So please let me know what you'd like to name a ship. And uh, I can't guarantee which ship a anymore. Like, th there's, I've already got, what, six, six or seven ships on the go. I can't guarantee which ship you'll end up being, but I will probably build around your name. So if your name is like, if, if you give me a name that's like really appealing, then of course I will build a ship around the name. So, especially if you find a species of spider that is really unique and different from other spiders that kind of has I don't know. I imagine, oh, you know, when I think when I think of necrotic spiders, I think of venom. So I don't know, kind of think about that. You know, what you know, what would be a good name for like a venom? Venom would be a good name. That, that would make sense. Okay, so now we have the Scripples Brood, which can actually build its own ship. So let's get ready to do that. And we can actually build these unnamed spaceships. These well, <laughs> these little ones are little tiny spider mites. Uh, how do we how do we oh right, it's F. That's right. So we can go into enemy territory. We don't have a lot of money right now, so we need to make some money, uh, which means we need to eat this guy yummy yummy mmm delicious you are so nutritious <laughs> come here come here I'm hungry you're very small you're like perfect you're bite-sized you're like a little Oreo cookie <laughs> fantastic who is that oh it's one of our yeah I can't even tell what they are they're so small we're so small right now eventually we will be large and terrible and I, the insectoids will fear us. That doesn't mean that we're gonna be able to trample them, but you know, the thing is I've learned so much about this game since that first season that I don't know how I could not build a really good uh, set of ships <laughs> but by comparison to the first designs that we ever built. Ooh, Tinkerel, right? Yes, Tinkerel, interesting. Oh, whoops, um, we should be using our mines here at the same time. Launch, oh, I took off the mines, I forgot. Oh no. Oh no, I'm just gonna get destroyed by Tinkerel, Tinkerel fighters? No, that's terrible. Hold on, hold on. Maybe we can use this as an escape pod again. Uh, let's get over here. Uh, let's put this here and let's copy that here. Escape! <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, well, I thought maybe we might be able to build that little engine behind and get away, but no, uh, that's too bad. Oh man, I am loving this. I miss this game so much. All right, so let's get back into the screw. Well, let's not do the, actually what we need to do is uh, add some of those mine layers, the web layers. We need to add some web layers in the back. All right, so yeah, tons, tons of these. Okay, be right back. Okay, there we go. So I just added some of the uh, the, the mine layers, the, the spinning mines. Now, 
because we want that to be like webs, I think we're gonna need a lot of those to make this work. Oh, <laughs> build, build, build. I want it, so they do accelerate you too as well. So there's there's actually a practical reason to have them on your ship aside from actually destroying enemies. Oh, I got one f obviously facing the wrong direction. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yes, this guy here, wrong direction. Uh, you silly little web. Web layer, all right. There we go. Excellent, now we'll be able to run from, oh. Another one facing the wrong direction. How'd that happen? Oh! Weird. Did I not place it the right direction? That's really bizarre, okay. All right, there we go. Ah, ex what is going on? Am I insane? What's happening? Oh, I didn't save it? No, I, oh, maybe we didn't save it. That's possible. Exit? Oh, it doesn't, it didn't ask me to save. You notice that? It didn't ask me to save. So we actually have to make a significant change here. Then go back in. So for a second there, I thought it was going insane. I'm like, oh, they're gonna think I'm an idiot, but no, I'm not an idiot. I, I Something legitimately was happening there. All right, there we go. Ah, perfect, beautiful. I, I want so many of those spinning mines following the ship that it just covers the screen. Like, I want to, oh yeah, look at that. That looks so beautiful. Like, we can just fill an area with these. So, again, especially against, like, cities and stuff and, like, buildings, I think those would, like, against the Borg. Ah, oh, or here's an example. So let's get into position here uh, before we start attacking them. I, we could probably just kill everybody with our, with our venom, venom fangs. But that's okay. Let's start launching these things. Try and, let's go in reverse here. Oh, he's launching missiles. Hey, this is a good defense against missiles, too. Just create a uh, a wall of mines. Now, I wonder how many mines it would take to actually get through those shields, though. That might be tricky. Oh, ah, no. Whoops, I forgot how effective those missiles are. They are pretty effective. The, the farmer missiles, they are slow, but they do a fair amount of damage. Okay, well, <laughs> all right, let's bring somebody with us. Let's, uh, no, I don't want to trade. I want to... Grab him. So we've got a, a buddy. Grab a buddy. Um, let's not attack that guy. Let's see if we can get some easy money. Let's go capture some stations. And then we'll launch a, a little army. We're still pretty vulnerable. We, we, we haven't got shields or anything yet. Uh, let's just capture. Ah, oh, right in the middle of enemy territory. The farmers, you know what? It's always great to be next to the farmers because... Uh, although they, there is going to be some times where it's a little bit challenging, like right now, where I've got, I'm just basically surrounded. Ah, I should be using my mines and I'm not. Or my webs, my little webs. I need to be launching those webs because they're actually pretty good once they get going. And of course my buddy, uh, my buddy here is not launching webs. Ah, he's got an earlier design. Yes, he does. He has an earlier design than I have. All right, well, this is why we need to be building our own ships. Yeah, see, we're just covering an area with those. That's so cool. Oh my god, that's wicked. That is wicked. Follow me if you dare. <laughs> um, we need more of those. I want so many. On like the when this when the brood mother actually grows to its to her full size, she will you will not want to follow her because she will just she'll be spreading death everywhere with her webs and capturing all of her enemies. It's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be magnificent. Okay, so uh, we didn't actually make any money there though. Ah. Well, we got we got a little bit of social credits. Let's go back down here and grab. I think there's another station. Stab! I stab at thee! <laughs> Woo! Ah, that's a friendly guy. All right, cool. Let's get this guy. He's he's shooting a lot. I don't like it when they shoot a lot. I don't like it. <laughs> Turn around. There we go. Um, it's taking me a little bit of getting used to to drive again. I keep wanting to use the keyboard to control my direction. I keep forgetting that it is the mouse control. I, I can change that, um, but I think for this current design, I think using the mouse to control my direction is the best choice. Wow, that's a nice big ship. That is a healthy... Is that is that a factory? Like, what? Hey, it wants... Okay, I can trade with it. Interesting. C. All right. Ah, because I have a factory! Oh, I see! Since the last time I played the campaign, they've made it so that if you have a factory, you can trade your C, or your, 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 uh, your, what do you call it? Your R for C now. That's cool. Before, you, were, you weren't able to do that. You had to, um, you had to find other ways to, of course, turn your R into C. Now, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to actually gain money. Oh, wow. Look at him. He's, that's quite a ship. 
Um, it almost fits with the theme, but not quite. Not quite. Haha! -ha. I'm liking the ship. It's super fun. It's very, very fun. Ah, I think we can kill him. I think so. Uh, we gotta get it. We gotta go in faster and harder. Yeah, that was good. That was good. We gotta go in really hard. If we're gonna use those lasers to go in and stab them, and we have to go right to the core because uh, we have no armor. We don't really have much for armor, and we have nothing for shields. Ah, uh, there's another station down here. Let's go get that. My buddy, he is coming. He's behind. I should wait for him. Uh, hmm. Who is this, I wonder? Who are you? Is that faction? It is faction one. It's the Terrans. The Terrans are here. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah. Uh, Terrans might be a bit of a problem. Terrans are like my, our arch nemesis right now. Uh, hence, you know, insectoids? Yes. So let's see if we can capture this station. That should I improve our fortifications in this area. And then we will start launching fighters. Launch. Oh, wow. Those are some really nice. Yeah, they've got some big, big lasers themselves. I've lost all of my engines. Turn around. Uh, maybe I can ram them. It's almost too late. I can't get out of the way because I have no engines. Ah, oh, that's not good. Not good at all. All I have left is one little... No! Oh, I had so much. Ah, oh, I shall be back for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, very fun. Very fun. All right, guys. I'm going to call it. This has been a blast. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'm really looking forward to continuing on and, of course, building the story that will connect all of this to the first season, our first season of Reassembly. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Take care.